everybody. Um, welcome to our mushroom farm in Moss Landing, California. Um, this is one of our uh, reishi growing rooms. Uh, we are growing in a shipping container. Um, reishi are one of those mushrooms that take a really, really long time to grow and develop. And so for us, it's uh, easier just to leave them in the container, let them do what they need to do, and then uh, harvest them when, we're, when they're ready. Um, right here, we have uh, some at the later stage of development ready for harvesting. You can see that this room and the fruiting bodies have a lot of spores, so they're sporulating right now. You can also see the growth ring is actually uh, right here, this structure here. Uh, when that kind of just completely disappears, it's, uh, it's reached its maturity level. Um, usually when it reaches that, it will just start getting thicker and thicker. And so they're ready to go, they're ready for harvesting. Um, another interesting thing that you can see the, the ratio actually will grow towards the light. So you can kind of see that they're all branching this way and then the light on this side, they're kind of moving on the other, other way. Another interesting about this specific strain is when you wound the substrate, um, because on the outside it's very hard and uh, a little bit thicker. So if you wound the substrate, so if you just like remove part of that substrate like this what we usually find is you'll have a fruiting body developing right here so you can see that this piece you can see this probably was a, a fruiting body there and then somebody uh, when they harvested it it left this kind of wound and then that is where the next uh, mushroom is coming from we've also found that when we just wound it on our own just randomly picking a, a, a part of it and kind of exposing um, the t that top uh, layer, we usually see a fruiting body will develop from it as well. Um, so, yeah, all these things are very strain specific. So, like our antler strain, you don't generally get uh, a second flush on that. Um, so, this strain we like to use because we can get up to five to six flushes. It does take up to a year to get that um, production out of the blocks, but it is uh, a nice fruiting body, very dense and very high yield. Another interesting thing is Lucas gloves ratio. 